Welcome students. Now we will continue with the chapter of excretion. Yesterday in the class we learned about the external structure of kidney. Externally how does a kidney look? What is the color? Reddish brown? What is the shape? What is the size? Then you came to know the location of kidney. So all these points together make external structure of kidney. So next we will go to the internal structure of kidney. When we do internal structure of kidney we have to see the L I showed you the model of LS of kidney. LS stands for longitudinal section. So when there is longitudinal section of kidney, there are two zones. Yesterday I showed the name also. The two zones. Outer dark zone is called as cortex. What is it? The outer zone is called as cortex. So if you label, this is your cortex. So the outer It is cortex. Now when we go internally, the pale inner zone is called as medulla. What is it? It is medulla. So saw the labeling here. Cortex, medulla. And I told you there are some flower like structures here. That is called as calyces. C-A-L-Y-C-E-S. Calyces. And the beautiful like structure which comes out here you already know that. That is ureter. Because a pair of kidney, a pair of ureters, then urinary bladder and urethra. This is our human excretory system. So in that system we are doing the structure of kidney. Then we will go to ureter. Then we will go to urinary bladder. Lastly we will study about urethra. So when we told medulla and each kidney consists of many units. They own the, the units are nephrons. Nephrons, the other name for it is uriniferous tubules. So units of kidney are nephrons. Now what is the number of nephrons? One to know. 1.3 to 1.8 millions of nephrons. So which is the structural and functional units of kidney? Nephron. So you can write the answer for this objective. Nephrons are the structural and functional units of kidney. Like you say, cells are the structural and functional units of life. Same way, nephron is a unit of kidney. So now, so in short, now we should go to the structure of nephron. So now we will move structure of kidney is clear everyone. Now we will go to the structure of nephron. Each nephron, now we will divide it into two. Each nephron has two main parts. The first part is called as a malpigian body or malpigian capsule. The second part is called as renal tubule. Renal tubule. Now there is one term here. Whenever you hear the term renal, when you hear the term renal, When you hear the term pulmonary, pulmonary related to lungs, renal failure. Renal fa failure is nothing but kidney failure. So renal tubule. So remember when you see the name renal, which organ will you remember? It is kidney. Now we will go to the structure of nephron. Two parts, malpigian body and renal tubule. So when you write your notes, if you present it in this way, you can remember it in a better form. So malpigian body uh, and renal tubule will form the structure of nephron. Further, this malpigian body, see this is our malpigian body. Here, there are two more parts of this malpigian body. That is Bowman's capsule. What is it? Bowman's capsule. Capsule means it is complex structure. So in uh, nephron, this 
So this glomerulus Bowman's capsule forms the malpighian body or malpighian capsule. So I'll go at that. In this way, in this form, you learn. You can learn it in better way. Then, if we go to the second part of nephron, it is called as renal tubule. What is it? Renal tubule. Now why it is tubule? Because it is in the form of tube, like this. So this part, malpighian body. When you come down, it is renal tubule. Now this renal tubule can be divided into three parts. First part is called as PCT. PC means not your personal computer. PCT stands for proximal convoluted tubule. Proximal convoluted tubule. If you refer to your textbook, page number seventy-nine. These are new terms. You should know it with correct spellings. So PCT stands for proximal convoluted tubule. The second part is called as the loop of Henle. Now PCT is this here upper part, proximal. When you come down, a U shape loop is a U shape. That U shape loop is nothing but loop of Henle. Did you follow? Once again, if I draw here, did you all get this here? So if we go to structure of nephron, here cup-like structure, malpighian body, Bowman's capsule. Again, we have some uh, tube-like structures here, glomerulus. Then we are going to the lower portion. It is called as renal tubule. Renal tubule. See, it comes in this way. Here. So this is the second part that is called as a loop of Henle. So this is our PCT, proximal convoluted tubule. When you go to this U-shaped loop, it is called as the loop of Henle. And here, this is our DCT. DCT stands for distal convoluted tubule. So this is the structure of what? Structure of nephron. Why are we studying the structure of nephron? Because nephron is a structural and functional unit of kidney. Now one more objective you have to remember here. Here there is one single layered cell. That means our Bowman's capsule is made up of a single layer of cell. That cell is called as podocyte. So remember when you hear CYTE term, it is cell. If you get the suffix CYTE, like you know logi, when the ending comes suffix is logi, logi means science. Same way when you hear CYTE is site, site means cell. So photocyte, remember this is an objective. Our uh, moments capsule is lined by a single layer of cell. That single layer is made up of which cell? Podocyte. So you have to refer to page number 79. Now we finish with the structure. Both type of structure that is external and internal. So now we will go slow. Is called as 
Because efferent is 
so here very important term here is glomerular filtration so filtration takes place in which part of nephron in glomerulus you have seen morning when your mother prepares tea she is uh, uh, pouring the tea into the cup using a sieve sieve means that you say i think jallada you are just taking and what remains up filtrate so like that here also one filtration process is taking place blood filtration blood filtration in which part nephron in nephron which part glomerulus so glomerular filtration if you understand efferent arteriole and efferent arteriole then we have tubular reabsorption now here filtration is over after this filtrate is going to enter here into which tube renal tubule first part of renal tubule p c t so now our urine you know urine contains urea ammonia waste isn't it urine has water salts and waste so that means last whatever comes out it should have only waste so when this urine is passing here there are some things which are useful for our body may be potassium may be calcium may be some uh, sodium we need it back into our body so what is being done when the uh, filtrate is passing through this whatever like you have some ions it is reabsorbed it goes into the blood and only what comes down is just waste so it is called tubular reabsorption so whatever is needed we take it back then we have tubular secretion secretion means here whatever is waste is generated back into the uh, blood then we have last concentration of urine so the urine which was very 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 like uh, diluted it becomes more and more concentrated that is hypertonic hypertonic means here what whatever is there is absorbed by a back to our body and whatever is waste is sent out to the urine so this is the mechanism of urine formation and in this you have to remember you have to write this mechanism of urine formation you have to draw the structure of nephron so this we come to an end with this class we'll continue in the next class